Sorry I couldn't speak. My husband is still sleeping. And I wanted to make him a really special breakfast. And I realized I'm out of semolina because I just moved and I didn't think to get it. So I hate those times where I had to go out for one ingredient because it's like a part of an entire meal. But anyway, I had to get gas and um, apparently these gas stations at Safeway, which we don't really have them where I live and Safeway is not really that popular. I think I've seen one or two. Um, you just slide in your Safeway card and um, you can redeem your points that way. It's not like this. It's not complicated in any kind of way, which is really, really convenient. Pretty nice. And it's right next to the grocery store. So I was like, boom, got 10 cents off of gas. And now I'm going to get um, some <sighs> some Lena. And uh, so I'm at Safeway right now. I'm gonna just go in and grab that, but I also have to get dirt today because my plant, it, like the, I didn't know, I didn't check, I feel like a fool. Um, I bought two house plants. I gave one away to a neighbor, but um, the one I grabbed had roots growing out of the bottom of the pot, and I didn't check that before I purchased it. So now I'm like, great, now I have to take care of it, and you know, it needs to be replanted. In a bigger pot and I'm gonna have to do that which is I mean it's, it's not a big deal but you know you just wanted to be healthy and happy and all that stuff so I'm parked up I'm going to get in here and then um, I'll show you guys what I get and then I'm headed over to a Dollar Tree for their soil and um, um, what's it called uh, a planter like a nicer one because mine's way too small and I thought about I have so many buckets but I was like I don't really want it because I thought okay I'll just drill holes in the buckets and then put it on a plate and you know all's well in the world and I'm like mm, I think I'm gonna get something nicer if it's just a dollar or two dollars not gonna be a big deal anyway let's all right roll. so stop number one was not successful I picked up milk and looked for my semolina and I just couldn't find it and I was I wasn't really annoyed it's just that nobody really knows I guess what it is and they can't help me and I I guess I get it a little bit but um a little bit not so now I'm on my way I called ah smart I called Fred Myers and I asked them if they carried it and it took a couple people but they said that they did carry it in like the red mill pack you know they, they serve like flowers that are in um right, little left. bits of flower Fred Myers I don't know if you guys can see um it's a really interesting place they have clothes and everything they're a little bit marked up in their other departments aside from their food is not marked up their food actually like for an example the whole milk the organic kind from Safeway like Safeway's organic kind was $3.29 for a half gallon and here it was $2.99 for a half a gallon for not the same thing but the um, their organic brand and the semolina I already knew $3.29 that just seems to be Red Mill's favorite price of one of most things and I know that so $3.29 I ended up spending $20.74 I believe $0.74 cents was around taxes so I got I'll show you guys everything I got, but, um, yep, now I'm headed home. I need the GPS. So sad. All right, so I was headed home, and then I said, let me just see where the closest dollar store was. And it was a mile away. So I set myself up to get some planters and uh, for my plant, and, yep, let's go. I'm going into my apartment show you guys what they look like so pretty they are really really pretty um apartments i am very very grateful there's a guy running the people that are parking are all the cheap people that don't want to pay for parking because <laughs> it's ten dollars a month which i could understand it could get pretty pricey so i had a very successful trip i spent all together I think around $30, 31 32 maybe, 33 33 uh, But I got like so much that I really needed like shelves and I'll show you guys, I'm really excited. But I have to park 
next to my apartment and then I have to get out and then I have to empty it and then I have to run the car back to my space. Blah. All right, we're in the kitchen. And it's not going to be quiet. Got some milk. Some simoline flour. These are a few candies for, like, you know, just a few. And I got some of oh, this potting soil. Some containers for my, to start my seeds. I actually have more seeds. them into, into triangles and just stab them out in there. My plant's getting a little bit of sun. I replanted it, repotted it. I got sage and chives and carrots, which I know that they're carrots. And I have extra dirt left for more carrots. And a pepper, a little pepper patch, pepper garden. And then um, I just scooted my two chairs to kind of have some room. And the one under there, so there's plenty of room. And then there's two chairs and my table and I put this uh, carpet, at, um, outdoor carpet I got a long time ago out, so a little festiveness. And, and I just got done making Moroccan pancakes, which is, they're not like American pancakes. Uh, yeah, they're not. And I actually made an extra batter because they take like two hours to sit with the yeast. <sighs> I'm just gonna clean up breakfast and let that sit. We got um, some beverages, but we decided to go to a park. That's where we're headed out now to see the beach. Because he has something on his back and he can't reach it and I can't brush it out of him. 
I don't know what he got into, but it's been there for a while, so we decided to bring back. And I'm choosing an all-natural organic oatmeal soap, which I'm just going to shave into the back. I've got his rag which I'm going to brush him I mean you know suds it up real good and start washing his back and a comb and I'm gifting him this I've never used it before I think it's something I actually found but um to really get in there I can't find he has a brush I can't find it and then a towel 